exactly two weeks ago, I asked Tubarikola how he felt about the poverty-stricken life he has endured since his birth. This was his reply. It is God's work. Um, when I see my colleagues, they, at times they, they think they, when we are at school, the books they used to bring, they used to buy books, and even the clothing they wear. I don't have a access to those things, but I just say, oh, God has everything. One day, if in my lack of the chance, I also get them. That one day has come earlier than Tubarikola had expected, and his luck has shone brighter than he ever imagined. The 20 year old former student of Nandom Senior High School had gained admission to the University of Mines and Technology in Takwa and was awaiting another admission from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. But he had no hopes of going to school because he and his old mother, who is in her 70s, could not raise even a hundred Ghana cities to support his education. When we uh, compiled everything, it was almost 5,000 Ghana cities. Tubaris mother, Hawakola, had married in Babli in the Upper West region, and when her husband died, custom demanded that she marry her late husband's brother. As part of that custom, however, it was a bad omen to give birth to a boy as the first child in the second marriage. Unfortunately for her, her firstborn in that marriage was a boy, and she was driven out of the marriage. The family said it's a, 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 a bad omen. So the sisters of the husband asked the woman to go with your tubare, that's push away child. So they push the woman and her child away, tubare, meaning push away. That is why she got up and came to this community with the baby boy to come and settle and look for help. Despite the difficulties he and his poor mother went through to survive in Bihenyawa, Tubari excelled in school and completed Nandom Senior High School, scoring A1 in six out of the eight subjects he wrote as a science student in the West Africa Secondary School Certificate Examination. When Joy News aired his story, Ghanaians across the world responded overwhelmingly. At least 10 individuals and institutions have expressed their willingness to bear the full cost of Tubari's education throughout the university. Some have expressed interest in donating various sums of money to help him pay the fees, while others expressed interest in giving him accommodation in their private hostels on university campuses. In fact, Tubari had a choice and he settled on the offer from Ashesi University College. We reach out to needy but brilliant students and so when we um, so we can support them in the education um, at least to study here at Ashesi. So when we heard the story we reached out to the young man and we're offering him um, a full scholarship that will take care of his tuition, that's his fees, it will take care of his accommodation, it will take care of his feeding, we will give him some pocket money, um, we'll give him laptop, anything that will aid his um, education here and we're committed to that over the four years that we expect him to be with us here. I am very happy for this offer and I want to thank each and everyone who has contributed to support me and even those who had the story and were touched but due to certain reasons they could not support. May God bless them all. This is the engineering department of Ashesi University. Next week, Friday, Tubari Kola will be here to start his four-year journey through this institution. Every cost has been catered for, and the only assistance left will be how to help him deal with the cultural shock in that dramatic journey from Bihe to Brekusu. But authorities of this school or university say adequate provisions have been made to help him fit in. We actually bring some of these students a couple of weeks ahead of the regular um, school season. We call it a bridge program. So we ease them back into the academic space because they've been away for some time and we're hoping Kola will join us. And then once they get uh, settled um, as part of their orientation, reintegration, we give them um, 
mentors. We have student mentors. So we're hoping for Colin we see somebody quite close in background to him that he can identify with who's gone through our system and we've already identified about two such young men who can work with him. Fortunately, he will be doing engineering. Our Dean of Engineering went to Nandom Secondary like him, so we hope there will be some linkage and so an older person will also act as a mentor to him. So they're different. We actually even have a psychotherapist on campus for um, mental wellness because the transition can be dicey. Mining support company, NGV Limited, has also pledged to offer to Barry internship opportunities whenever he's on vacation and possibly help him to secure a job after school. Tubari says he will make the best out of the love Ghanaians have shown him. At a senior high school, I face challenges, but sometimes I spend time thinking over things. But once I, I have a free mind, I have nothing to think about. I think when I get to Ashes University, I will do my best. The story of Tubari is that of resilience and hard work in the midst of hopelessness that has paid off at the most opportune time. For Joy News, Manasseh Azure Arune reporting.